It's that time of year again. Yes, it is. I am going to be doing my 2021 NASCAR predictions results. I made a bunch of predictions, 21 predictions to be exact, at the beginning of the year back in January. And now it's November. The season has been over for 11 days now. So I am going to do my pr my uh, predictions results. We're, we're, we're going to see what I got right. And uh, yeah. Number 21, there will be a sellout this year. Yeah, baby! Yes, I was correct about that. I think Phoenix was like the only race that had like an official sellout. But more what I was meaning when I said that at the beginning of the year was that I meant like there'd be races without limited capacity that would be full. You know, there'd be races with, you know, full attendance. Maybe not exactly a sellout, like every single seat was filled. But what I meant by that was there'd be a race that was like, you know, pretty full and it wasn't because of limited capacity, you know, but I was right. Number 20, Eric Jones will not make the playoffs. Yeah, baby. Was right about that one. Yeah, sorry, Jones boy. That was kind of a rude prediction. Probably shouldn't do predictions where I'm like, you know, predicting against a driver. I'm, I'm, I'm predicting on their downfall. That's probably not a very fair prediction, but hey, I got it right. And it was a prediction, and I was right. Number 19, Kyle Busch will make the final four. You fucking stupid bitch! Yeah, was wrong about that one. I mean, it wasn't the greatest year for old Kyle. I mean, he almost made it. He made it to the round of eight. Was like, if he had just won that race, he would have made it into the final four. Or like, if Truex had finished like two less positions, he would have made it to the final four or some shit like that. It was close, but in the end, I was wrong. But... I love you, Kyle. You'll make it next year. Number 18. I've had this prediction for a few years now, and it's been wrong. So I'm going to just keep doing it until it's right. The cup champion will not win the final race. You fucking stupid bitch! That is eight times now that the fucking champion has won the final race. I just want to see the fucking double burnouts, dude. I want to see the fucking double burnouts. And I don't get to see it. Year after year, I don't get to see it. It's fucking bullshit. We haven't seen the a, a different driver win the race from the driver who won the championship since 2013. Every year that we've had this new format, the champion has won the final race. And I'm getting fucking sick of it, I'll tell you what. It's getting some bullshit. The one time it does happen where the uh, driver doesn't win the finale, it's like Matt Crafton in 2019 in the truck series. It's like, well, fucking great. That doesn't really help. He didn't deserve the championship anyway. It's like, actually, if he did win that race, he might have had a case, but no. Fucking. <laughs> Number 17. There will be an actual rain race in the Cup Series. Because last year, we didn't fucking have... Like, it was, like, kind of a race in the rain, but not really. Yeah, baby! Yeah, we did. We did. Coda. Circuit of the Americas. That was fucking awesome. See, that was like, it was getting up to be a really fun race. A lot of just bullshit was happening. I was having a blast. And then everyone was like bitching and complaining about how it was getting too dangerous. We need to call the race. Shut the fuck up. It was fun and you know it. Don't act like it wasn't the most fun you've ever had watching a race. Probably not the most fun you've ever had, but it was a lot of fun. And then they rain shortened it, but it was still fun. And there was some big crashes. And it was fucking awesome. Like, last year we saw, like, a rain race, but it wasn't, like, an actual rain race, you know? Like, there, it was, like, very light rain, and, like, it, the track was only barely wet, but this year we got to see it for real, and it was fucking awesome. Number 16, Joey Logano will have at least three wins. You fucking stupid bitch! I was wrong about that one, but hey, he won the Bristol Dirt Race. Like, if he could have won any other race, though, that kind of would have been better than that. I wish somebody else won the first dirt race. Not that I hate Logano, I just wish somebody else won that race. Number 15. Alex Bowman will make the round of eight. You fucking stupid bitch! Honestly, I should refuse to take the L for that one. <laughs> I mean, I will take the L, but like, that fucking sucks. He should have made the round of eight. Like, Logano made the round of eight, but Bowman didn't. Number 14. Bubba Wallace will finish in the top 20 in points. You fucking stupid bitch! Fucking 21st. He finished 21st in points. He got the win, though. I did not expect that, for real. I did not expect he would get a win. He did get a win. And all you fucking stupid-ass fans, just remember, Chase Elliott also won a rain shortened race this year. So, if you want to fucking... You gotta, you gotta make them equal. Make it equal. Alright? Make it equal. Be consistent with your opinions. 
If you want to agree that both of their wins are bullshit, that's fair. But you got to be consistent. Number 13. Ford will have the most wins of any manufacturer. You fucking stupid bitch! Well, I was wrong about that. As a matter of fact, they actually had the least wins of all three manufacturers. Chevy had 19 wins, Toyota had 10 wins, and Ford had 7 wins. So, I was absolutely, totally flip-flopped wrong. Number 12. There will be a photo finish in any of the three series. Yeah, baby! I was right. Yeah, Xfinity, I think they had a few photo finishes. Martinsville, Bristol. I'm not really sure if the trucks did. They probably did, but I don't fucking remember. Number 11. Ryan Blaney will win exactly one race. You fucking stupid bitch! I was wrong. But I feel like that was a fair pick, though. Like, every single year since 2017 when he got his first career Cup Series win... He has exactly one win every year. And then this year he won three races. So, I can't be sad for him. I mean, man got a breakout season, but... I mean, my prediction's wrong, so that fucking sucks. Number 10, the all-star race winner will sweep the stages. You fucking stupid bitch! Yeah, well, they change the fucking format of the all-star race every fucking year. Like, I don't think we've had two years in a row with the same all-star race format since, like, I don't even know when. It has to be at least, like, 2014. It's been a long ass time. It is, it's, I don't know. I mean, when, like, but they also had, like, inversions. Like, after, like, the stages, like, you'd invert the field, so it makes it harder. I don't know exactly, I don't remember who exactly won every single stage, but I just know it wasn't all Kyle Larson. So, I was wrong, but, I mean, at the same time, they kind of set me up for failure with that one. <laughs> Number nine. Chase Elliott will win all of the road course races. You fucking stupid bitch! I mean, he won two of the six, seven. I think there was six or seven. I know there was one more than there was supposed to be because they added the Daytona road course in instead of Auto Club, but he won two road course races, but there was a lot of road course races this year, and he did not win all of them, so fuck me. I mean, he pretty much is the road course king, though, so you can't really blame me for that pick. Also, Kevin Harvick fucked him out of the uh, Roval win. Don't at me. Number eight, Kyle Busch will reach a 100 Xfinity wins. Yeah, baby! I was right. As a matter of fact, he reached 102 Xfinity wins. Before this season, he was at 97, and then he won literally every race that he was in this season. So, I was right. Nashville was his 100th win, and the big news was that he said after he reached 100 Xfinity wins, he would retire. Obviously, he still had, like, two races that he was contractually obligated to race after he got his 100th win, so he raced both of those, and what do you know, he fucking won it. <laughs> Number seven, the Bristol Dirt Race will have at least two red flags. You fucking stupid bitch! Yep, yeah, there was only one red flag. I mean, I would have expected there to be more because I thought it was going to be absolutely fucking crazy. I mean, in a way, there kind of was because, like, they put out the red flag when they do, like, those, like, caution flag pit stops, which I just think is, I hate those, dude. That might be the number one thing I hate, like, besides the playoffs. I fucking hate those, like, non-competitive pit stops. I might hate those more than the playoffs, honestly. <laughs> I'm, I might. Like, I mean, I don't care what track you're at. I get it's kind of hard to, like, do them properly. But you gotta have just normal fucking pit stops, dude. That's, like, my number one thing. You gotta have competitive pit stops. You gotta do them properly. Uh, ugh, dude, I fu it irks me so much. Number six. The leader at the white flag will lose at least two races in any of the three series. Yeah, baby! Yeah, I was right. I mean, I don't remember exactly how many there were in each of the three series, but the two right off the top of my head, Daytona 500 and the Pocono, the first Pocono race. Yeah, both of those winners were not leading coming to the white flag, so... I was right. Number five, Martin Truex Jr. will have no wins. You fucking stupid bitch! Well, shit. He had four wins. A man can dream. A man can fucking dream. Number four, a race in any of the three series will end after midnight local time. Yeah, baby! Yeah, I was right. The first race of the year, I got that one right. Daytona 500 ended 12.16 a.m. on Monday morning. So, I was right there. I don't remember exactly how many other races ended after midnight local time, but yeah.
I was right about that. Number three, Ryan Blaney will win the Daytona 500. You fucking stupid bitch! You know, that one's a little frustrating because he won the summer race at Daytona. But at the same time, I can feel confident that I that nobody, I am not alone in not correctly predicting the Daytona 500 winner. I guarantee nobody predicted Michael McDowell. Not one soul. Not one single soul predicted that Michael McDowell would win the Daytona 500. Number two, there will be at least two first-time winners in the Cup Series. Yeah, baby! I got it right. But, I mean, I, I, I expected to get that one right. Usually there is two first-time winners every year. But I did not expect to get that right within the first two races of the season. The first two races of the season, there was two first-time winners. What the fuck? What? <laughs> and then there was a third one, uh, Bubba Wallace won Talladega, so... <laughs> what? And number one, Chase Elliott will win the championship again. You fucking stupid bitch! Honestly, I thought he would. I thought he would, like I said earlier, I thought he was going to win all the road course races. So that'd be six wins, seven wins right there. So I, I expected that would obviously push him ahead. And then he'd probably get a few other, you know, oval track wins, which, you know, surprisingly he didn't. He only, his only wins were two road course races. But I thought, yeah, I thought he would come off of last year with momentum. And I thought, you know, he would be able to do it back to back, win two championships in a row. But winning two championships in a row is hard, no matter what you're doing. It's hard to do. So, I mean, and also when some random dude comes back after not racing for eight months and then just fucking destroys the field it's kind of hard to win the championship then but hey he made the final four so anyway guys i want to thank you guys for watching i'll probably be doing my 22 my 2022 predictions video some point in january early february but yeah i want to thank you guys for watching and peace out